Good morning, class. Okay, good morning. How are you today? So today is a very good day to learn. Oh, come on. So we are going to discuss our topic for today, which is the measure of central tendency. So what is measure of central tendency? As you will know, class, it's um, the summary of statistics that represent the center point or a typical value of a data set. So you know what this is data sets, um, the group of uh, numbers. Okay, we already discussed um, that in a previous lesson. So this means that, so by the way, what is the statistics? Sounds familiar, right? Because we often hear the vital statistics. So statistics is what um, the collections and our standing of data. So this is very uh, no, familiar. Okay. So the measure of central tendency includes a mean, median, and mood. So these are the very most common to get the center point of a data. So let's start with the mean. So what do you mean by mean? <laughs> okay, so it's mean is mean. So this is the most simple and very familiar to all of us. Uh, because uh, when we going to commute for like example, we're going to commute at this scores of you guys okay when we collections of scores did we have to compute using the mean so mean means the average okay if you are mean then you are average just kidding the mean is the arithmetic um average so how do we get the mean so we get the mean by just adding up the number and divide the element of the number for like example i just have here um for example we have the set of uh, 20 for like example we have a test scores of 20 um 22 26 28 and 29 so okay you just have to add it up and, and come up with a 125. Now, count the numbers here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, there are 5 test scores. So, what are we going to do is to divide the 125 to the numbers here. So, 5. So, the result will be um 25 so the mean here the mean is 25 because 25 is the average of all these numbers so so it's easy right all right it is easy class right so and of course in the measure centers of tendency we have to um the group of data so what we call population and the subsets of data which is the sample so we're going to focus on the samples and this is also this one this one is um, the formula of the sample mean can you see this guys this is sum and over n so you can write it down, you can use it um, vertically or horizontally. So if you're going to do a formal way of um, doing this, I know, solving this, so we have this uh, formula. So for like example, this one, like, well, um, can I see this? Okay, so we have here 20 plus 22 plus 26 plus 
28. So divide 5, you can, um, 125 over 5 equals 25. Yeah. You can solve this uh, with using this formula. So, um, you just have to remember that if you are going to get the mean, you have to get the average. And now, we are proceed to the second measures of central tendency, which is the median. Okay, the median is the middle of the value of a data set. So always remember when we talk about median, median is, you remember the word middle. For like example here, so I have this uh, set of data. So for like example, um, six, nine, 10, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 19, 20, and 25. So, all you have to do is get the middle of the data. So, before that, you have to arrange from the smallest to the greatest before getting the middle of the value. For like example, this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So why do I have to do? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Write this one, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So right here. So 5 here, and 5 also here. So it means 14. Okay. 14 here is our median. But in this case, this is what we call... A median odd. You know what means odd. Yes, it's a median odd. So how about this one? We're going to omit this one. For example, no 25. So there are 10 sets of data. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there are 10, only 10. So how are we going to get the mood? If we um, count it here, okay, 4, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have here, there are 2 in the middle, which is 12 and 14. So what are we going to do? So uh, we must uh, add. You get the mean. So you know how to get the mean, right? It's the average. So all you have to do is to sum up this to... So the answer will be 26 minus oh, minus 26 over 2 equal 13. So it means, you know, after 12 is number 13. So the next 12 is 13. But uh, the same result as if you're going to get the average of these two. So the mention here is number 13. Okay, so the median is number 13. So what if... This is also what we call the median even numbers. So that's how you get the median. Okay, so am I understood? Am I, am, uh, am I understood class? Okay, so the last one is the mood. The mood is a center point that um, we're looking for the numbers that occurs frequently. So what do I mean? I mean is in a set of data, if you look for a number that is occurred uh, frequently, so that is the mood of um, the data set. Like for example, I have here... Um, so we have here set of data 20, 23, 22, 22, uh, 19, 18, and 17. 
So, as you can see, guys, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, there are 6 numbers in a data set. So, what can you tell me? What numbers are often uh, occurred frequently? So, it's really obvious that here is number 22. So, 22 is the mood here. Because we are looking for the numbers that occur. So, what will happen if we are going to, um, there's no, for like example, another data set. So, 4, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, how are we, um, it says that we are looking for the numbers that occurred uh, frequently. So, in, in this case, there is no numbers that repeat or repeated or occurs frequently. So it means there's no mood in this in this data set. So that, that's how are we going to um, that's how are we going to get the mood. So this is very easy for us to learn the measures of central tendency using uh, a different calculation and different methods to get the center point of a certain data set. So, uh, so next meeting, we're going to discuss about the measures of dispersion. And we have going to, a sh uh, we're having a short quiz. Are you ready? So you, uh, you just have to study in advance. Okay, class? Okay. So, okay, that's, I think that's for, uh, that's for this for today. Thank you. Um, goodbye. Goodbye, class. Okay. <laughs> what the phone number?